Good morning all of my Farmer Jack joke followers. This is Jack from Farmer Jack Jokes. Once again I'm sitting here in the bush in African lovely sunshine. It is winter here in South Africa. The weather is just so. It's a lovely sunshine but it is still chilly outside. So I decided to walk around and like I discussed in our previous video we're going to a place where we would like to promote our channel and let the viewers see who's behind the cameras not the cameras but who's behind the software and the generation of our jokes so this will be the first in the format of where i will raw as it is a little stand with my mobile phone come and tell you some of our jokes tell you what we've done last week and perhaps you can see what you've missed out on so how i do this unfortunately i've got a piece of paper we have written down what i want to do and when I read on it, I need to put my reading glasses on. So, last week we have generated four story jokes. Now the story jokes is our long form content, which is generated by our two content creators. The stories are written by ourselves. The content is created by ourselves. We aim to do one a week. It takes us about two and a half days to generate one of those. Um, it's not like a short. The short for us is much easier and much quicker to generate. So two and a half days until that video is onto YouTube. So the first story joke we did last week was a four minute joke about a couple of Irish priests that went to visit the USA for the first time. Now obviously their uh, driving skills were not quite up to scratch because being in Ireland or being part of the UK if we talk about Northern Ireland then you drive on the other side of the road so that was one of the hiccups there but obviously as they are driving along this highway they drive at an extremely extremely slow rate they drive at 20 miles an hour so eventually this police officer pulls them off and he says, Dear fathers, so what is this that you guys are driving so slow? So the father said that, uh, you know, I'm sure there's not a, a rule against driving slow because they read on the highway sign that it says Route 20, so they drive 20 miles an hour. The police officer obviously laughs because he says, No, that's the name, that's the name of the, of the highway. It's the name of the highway, that's not the speed limit. And no, they are not a rule that you're not allowed, they're not allowed to drive so slow, but you do become a bit of a danger to the other people on the road. So the policeman then walks around the vehicle and see that all of the other priests that's in the vehicle are extremely scared and their eyes are very big. And he said to the driver, so what's up with your fellow passengers why are they so uh, looking so scared and he take a chuckle and he says no uh, for them they just come from highway 100 so obviously they were speeding all the way on that one so that was the first funny story joke which we told last week and uh, i will put some clips on it here for you for you guys to have a look at just a quick trailer so for anyone of you who have missed this, go have, have a look at the story. I think it was very well done. So the second, uh, the second story, which we, the funny story which we did last week, um, and people must remember we are trying to tell jokes. We are never trying to offend anyone. But jokes is what we tell and our intention is to make you laugh. So the second funny story which we told last week was a funny story about this businessman Harry who was the owner of Harry's fried chicken which was a very popular uh, uh, fried chicken outlet <clears throat> very popular it was very wealthy and his business was not doing that well anymore so what he decided was he decided to go on to a new marketing strategy to try and boost his business and what he came up with is to get in contact with the Pope and he asked the Pope if the Pope will not change the wording of the Lord's Prayer 
before you eat of the Lord's Prayer of give us today our daily bread to give us today our daily chicken. That is his request to the Pope and for that he will give the Pope 10 million dollars. The Pope of course says, you know, this is impossible, we can't do this, this has been, we've been doing this for generations and we're not going to change the wording of this. Anyway, the guy was okay with that, but a month later his business was still sliding tremendously and he once again went back to the Pope and said, listen here, I am really in deep trouble here and I am now willing to put up 50 million dollars if you change the wording to the Lord's Prayer of give us today our daily bread to give us today our daily chicken and the pope was thinking about this but he still said no you know unfortunately for generations we've been doing this we just we just can't change it and one month later his business is now really in deep deep trouble and he takes a last ditch approach to the pope and he gets in contact with the pope again and said this is this is this is my last offer about a hundred million dollars for my global business to try and save my business if you change the wording of the lord's prayer from give us today our daily bread to give us today our daily chicken and the pope is extremely intrigued by this and he said i'll get back to you the uh, next week the pope called a meeting with all of his cardinals he get them all together and he said to them that uh, you know, I've got good news and I've got bad news for all of you cardinals. The good news is some fried chicken company is going to sponsor us with a hundred million dollars. And all of the cardinals were so pleased with that because, you know, there's so much they can do for their communities with the money that's going to be sponsored by this chicken outlet. He said, but then the bad news that I need to unfortunately bring you guys today is is that we have lost the bread account. Okay, so that was the funny story, the second of our funny stories that we told last week. And I will put a little bit of a trailer on the side here for you guys to have a look at. And then, uh, if you haven't seen the joke, watch it. They're all about four minutes. So then the third funny story that we told last week was a story about uh, <clears throat> this guy that owns the bar. Old Jack is 65 years old, he stays in this little town, his bar is the only water hole in this town. And it's a very conservative environment, he closes his pub at 5 o'clock in the afternoon. 8 o'clock that afternoon, and this is an old, this is an old joke, but uh, we decided to redo it with our latest technology of AI. So 8 o'clock that evening he gets a call from a guy that says, Jack I want to know how late your bar opening and he says no 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 you know my bar opens at nine o'clock in the morning and we oh, we close at five o'clock in the afternoon that's the time of my bar okay no no it's okay the guy's quite happy with it yeah by 12 o'clock that evening his phone rings again now he's half asleep and it's the same guy on the phone this time the guy is you know, he's well lubricated, shall we just say. You can hear by his voice that he had already too many drinks. And he says, is this Jack, the owner of the local pub? Yes, that's Jack, the owner says. He says, how late is that pub of yours opening? He says, sir, we open at 9 o'clock and we close at 5 o'clock in the afternoon. He says, okay. He says, young, I will see you then at 9 o'clock in the morning guy puts the phone down 3 o'clock that morning 3 a.m. his phone rings again now you can imagine he's got a really intoxicated guy on the other side of the phone he says Jack is this the owner of that lovely establishment in town which we call a pub yes Jack says I am the owner of the pub in town what can I do for you he says, I just want to know, how late do you open in the morning? Sir, I told you before, Jack said, that we open at 9 o'clock in the morning. And we close at 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Okay, sir, I can't wait for you to open that lovely establishment of yours at 9 o'clock in the morning. The guy puts the phone down. Early that moment, just as Jack is almost ready to go to work, his phone rings again. 
And now you can imagine this guy on the other side of the phone. He's, he is just had too much liquor for the evening. And he says, is this Jack from this lovely pub here in town? Yes, sir. I told you a couple of times tonight that this is Jack. And I told you a couple of times that my pub only opens at nine o'clock. The guy on the other side of the phone says, yes, I know you told me, and you close at five o'clock. Now, since five o'clock last night, I have been sitting in your pub. Please, can you come and open it? I need to go home. So that was the third funny story, which we told uh, last week, which the first funny story that was loaded onto our channel. It's about a four minute joke. So please, if you haven't seen it, watch it. I'll have a trailer of it here. You can have a look at it. And the last of the funny stories which we did last week was a story about Lake Pothole. Now, Lake Pothole is a lovely story where this young Irishman, let's call him Kevin for practical purposes, got a job at this uh, company that works on the roads in London. For him it's a very prestigious job, he's from Ireland. And he's on the first day of the job. So he is going over to meet the crew that are fixing the potholes for London. However, he was expected to see bulldozers and heavy working equipment where these guys work, this crew that he was going to join. However, when he got to this specific site, all he saw was a couple of guys around this massive pothole in the middle of the road with fishing rods sitting into this pothole having a fish he was quite dumbstruck by this and he said to this one guy he said listen can you please tell me what's going on here i am kevin i'm the first day on the job and i would like to know what is going on here well said this guy you know see this pothole it's the oldest pothole in the uk for generations and generations we fix this bottle and it always keep on coming back. And the guy said, well, why don't you just fill it up and, you know, fix it as normal? Yeah, they've done it through the years, but this specific bottle has got the prize as the biggest bottle in London because it always comes back. Then he said, okay, I can understand that, but what are all these guys doing with the fishing rods? No, he said they're fishing and you can actually go buy your fishing license for fishing into this bottle. That's how big this bottle is. And what do they catch, us, this guy? He said, well, so far this morning, we caught three rims, two tires, and a steering wheel. So that's the size of the bottle. So that is the basis of our fourth funny story, which we've done last week. It's a lovely story, if you haven't seen it. Have a look at it. I will put some trailer up here on the side of it, so please have a look at it. Then, obviously, last week, we've also done some shorts. <coughs> the short jokes are the quick jokes, which is for mobile phones, not longer than one minute and yeah we've done a couple of those and just a couple which i want to mention is the first was a little johnny now obviously anyone that knows anything about jokes knows there's always little johnny jokes little johnny is that naughty boy in the class which the teacher don't want to talk with because he always comes up with something which is stupid so this teacher wanted to she wanted to trick the class and she asked the class to come up with any number so this one little girl sticks her hand up and she says teacher the number i give you is number 21 so the teacher went to the board and she wrote the number 12 she deliberately write it backwards to see if there's any reaction from the children none of them reacted then she said can i please get another number and this little boy sticks up his hand and the boy says number 45 teacher and the teacher goes and she writes on the board number 54. She deliberately changes the two numbers around and she looks at the class to see if there's any reaction from the class, but no reaction. The class just don't react. And that was the intention of her writing these numbers up uh, backwards. So she knows she's going to have to do something and obviously the only person she hasn't asked yet was old little Johnny and she can always rely on little Johnny. She said, little Johnny... Please, can you give me a number? So Johnny says, number 22. He says, teacher, I would like to see how you mess that one up. So that was the first short we've done. I'll put a little bit of trailer on here. You can have a look at it. It's the first, one of the first shorts we've done last week. Uh, not the best one, in my opinion, but I'll tell you now what the best one was. 
The second short that we've done, which I'll also put a little bit of a trailer up here, is a short about this woman that likes to work with a laptop computer in a bed. So whenever she and her husband's in bed, she sets a laptop computer on there and she works in bed with this laptop computer. And one morning, her husband was gone to work. She decided she's going to have a snooze. She folded the laptop computer up and she put it right next to her bed. So while she's asleep, her mother-in-law, or her mother, the guy's mother-in-law, comes in and she looks at this thing on the floor and she thinks, ah, this is electronic scale. So she climbs onto this computer. You can obviously imagine what happens with the computer. So this story is told by a guy to his friend in a pub. So the guy in the pub said to his friend, yo, and was the laptop damaged? He said, well, all I can tell you is that my mother-in-law weighs $2,000. So that was the second of our shorts which we've done last week. Uh, and a lot, uh, there, there's been a couple, but there's one specific one uh, which I uh, would like to tell you about, which I think was the best short that we've done last week. And that's a short about the Stortus that was sitting in a pub having a good couple of drinks. And I'm gonna close this video out by playing this uh, short on the side. I think it's a brilliant short. Um, so, this Stortus, he. Uh, sitting in a pub, having a good couple of toots. And uh, by the time the pub closed, obviously he was too much intoxicated to, you know, even get a taxi or anything. So the tortoise decides, no, he's going to stroll home. Now, obviously he's slow, but he's going to stroll home and he's going to take a shortcut through one of the more dangerous parts in town. But he's going to try and walk as quick as he can to get home. So in this little alley, he is attacked by these four snails. The snails attacked him and they kicked the hell out of him. They stole all his money, these four snails, and they sprayed his, his shell with some paint to disgrace him. So the poor tortoise, all he could do was go to the police station and there's a, a little jackal uh, inspector behind the counter which is trying to help him, and the jackal inspector said to him, oh, calm down, he said, is there anything you can tell me about these assailants that attacked you, these robbers that attacked you? And the tortoise said to him, well, I really don't know, you know, it all happened so fast. So that is the, the, the in my opinion, the best uh, shorts that we've made last week. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, put that short up here in this video, and then on a more regular basis, I'm going to put these type of content on where you guys can see my face. I'm going to tell some jokes and hopefully I get better at it. But I will I do this specifically to try and promote our channel, get more of you guys to watch our long form content. And uh, please put in the comments, what do you think? Do you think it's a bad idea? Do you think you prefer live stream? It's just a little bit difficult for us at this stage. But tell me what you think. I don't have any specific microphone. I speak straight into the cell phone. Is the sound bad? Can you at least hear clearly? So yes, please tell me what you think. So thank you very much for watching this. And I would like to put out more of these to, uh, you know, let you guys see who the guys is behind Jugs by Farmer Jack. Thank you very much for watching and please watch our content. Thanks a lot. Cheers, bye. Here is a nice animal joke for you. It's about a tortoise being robbed. A tortoise went out for a couple of beers at his local pub. He had too much to drink for the evening, but he still decided to walk home through the rough part of town. Knowing the risk, he walked as quickly as he could. Halfway home, he was stopped by four snails in an alley who beat him senselessly. They stole what little money he still had left and sprayed some paint onto his shell to disgrace the old tortoise. Utterly distraught, he went to the local police station to make a case of robbery against his assailants. A fox inspector on duty took his affidavit and asked if he could remember anything about the assailants. The tortoise, looking very sad, said, I don't know. It all happened so fast. 